Hello YouTube. I have a video that I'm going to do that a friend of mine suggested. It is how to clean and clear the waste data and tracking information from your web browsers. And if you go to history, it'll show you obviously what you've been looking at. So on Google Chrome, if you come up here to the top right side, you'll see these little three bars. It says, if you hold the mouse over, it comes up and says, Customize and Control Google Chrome. So if you go to History, you just come over here and click Clear Browsing Data. And obviously, the more you can select, the more it's going to clear out. You have clear saved passwords, clear saved autofill form data, clear data from hosted apps, uh, deauthorized content licenses, empty the cache, delete the cookies, clear browsing history, clear browsing, clear download history, clear browsing history. I generally just do those four right there, click clear, call it good. Okay, that's all waste information is taking up space on the drive and it also has a lot of trackers it tracks what all you've been doing now to do the same thing in Internet Explorer you need to bring Internet Explorer up press alt go to tools and internet options security privacy clear sites right there under location under privacy there's actually a couple of spots in IE that you gotta check Let's see, programs advanced well actually it looks like it's all under privacy now no nope, right there's the other one you got your browser history if you select the delete browser history on exit, it's automatically going to delete all that garbage. We'll go to settings. See right here, disk space used. Recommended 50 to 250 megabytes. It's setting on 250. Yeah, that's kind of crazy when you're using 250 megabytes of hard drive space to save this crap. And it saves up to 20 days. I don't want it saving any days. And I would really rather it only use 10. <laughs> eh, I'll go ahead and go with the recommended and put in 50. Of course, every time I back out, it's going to automatically clear all that. See, and then you have a little website caching and databases. Notify me when the website or cache or database exceeds 10 megabytes. Click OK. Come over here and click Delete. And you have the history, cookies. You have preserved favorite website data, but you have the temporary internet files, download history, and I'm going to go ahead and kill the ActiveX stuff too. You don't want a lot of that staying in there. And once you do that, you can just click apply and OK, and that clears out Internet Explorer. And then of course you have Mozilla Firefox. Firefox you have to hit alt as well go to tools options and then if you go to privacy you can select tell sites I do not want to be tracked and you can go right here to tell it to never remember history and it's going to tell you that it needs to be reset it's going to reboot all you got to do is hit alt again once it loads go to tools options and right here it says clear all current history under the privacy tab just select that and it'll give you the options about all you want to clear you got active logins cache cookies forms and search history browsing data go ahead and click clear now <laughs> and now all that waste information has gone too 
there are several programs out there that will actually clear all your uh, browser history and stuff like that and clear all the tracking data that the browser history loads um, if you're already if you've watched the how to maintain video that I have for maintaining your computer um, you should already have advanced system care if you do advanced system care will actually take care of this for you now if you bring up advanced system care and right here under the care screen you'll see down here one that says quick settings you click that and most of these are going to be turned off now if you're only running the free version you're only going to have these four options here if you're running the pro version you'll have all the options as you can tell I'm running the pro version um, secure file deletion I don't worry too much about uh, registry deep clean that's one of them that'll clean a bunch of that garbage uh, surfing protection I recommend turning on because it'll protect against various online threats to ensure your surfing experience if you come down here to auto clean it will automatically sweep surfing history cookies browser cache etc at boot up so when you boot the computer it will automatically go in and clean all that garbage out for you you don't have to do it manually from the browser like I just showed this will do it at startup so if you're running advanced system care you don't even have to worry about it it's already good to go as long as you go make remember to click that quick settings and go turn on auto clean it'll go in and clean all that you're absolutely 100 percent good to go and you won't have to worry about all that garbage the other programs I don't know what all out there is free that'll do it I know there are quite a few of them that you have to pay for there are some that are free but don't do a very good job cleaning uh, advanced system care does a really good job at keeping a lot of that garbage out of there so you know if that's what you want to do that's what I would highly recommend and it also you know like I said it it gets a lot of the tracking bugs and stuff like that that tell off on you where you've been going what you've been doing websites that you've went into your username and password your login information your credit and debit card information which sadly yes a lot of that does get saved on your system without you knowing it this is what I would highly recommend is setting up advanced system care just to go ahead and clean and take care of that at boot up this information is out there for absolutely everybody and as always watch like and share have a good day